Good morning, Planet Forest Tigers. Today is October 22, 2018. It's Magnificent Monday! My name is Michael White, broadcasting from WPFE. And I am Taraji Stewart. We are from Ms. Ms. Reisman's second grade class. Thanks for tuning in. It's a new day, Tigers. Let's take a moment to reflect on positive thoughts. Please stand and raise your right hand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On Monday, October 22nd, for lunch we're having barbecue chicken, dinner roll, turkey breast wrap, Baked pasta with marinara sauce and cheese, green beans, and orange juice. Attention all 3rd through 5th grade students. Are you a technology lover? If so, then you should participate in our first Peyton Forest Tech Fair. You can submit all kinds of different projects. Some of the categories include audio production, video production, robotics, do any of those interest you? If so, see Ms. Austin in the Media Center to sign up for more information. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another week here at the Forest. Ms. Gunner is so happy to see you. We have some exciting things going on this week. First of all, there's Red Ribbon Week. Do you know what Red Ribbon Week is, boys and girls? We celebrate that we are going to be drug-free, not just now, but forever. When you get to middle school, you get to high school, and all your friends are talking about their smoking and drinking and laughing. Drug free. Bad things happen when you drink and do drugs, boys and girls. So that's what we're going to be celebrating all week. And the other thing with Red Ribbon is anti-bullying. Boys and girls, don't name call with your friends. Don't get on Snapchat and Instagram and make fun of people. That's bullying and it makes people feel bad. Every time you open your mouth, you should be speaking kind words. So this week, we're going to be talking about no bullying because Peyton Forest is a no place for hate school. Also, Wednesday is club day again. I hope you've joined the club. We got wrestling. We got debate. We have flag football. We got sports. We got, um, let me see what else do we have chorus we have cooking clubs so much is going on that's this wednesday want to say um good luck and congratulations to all our boys and girls who's going to be going to the special olympics this week good luck we know you're going to be representing the forest really well and guess what boys and girls the fall festival is friday and for those of y'all who were here last year Remember our haunted house? It was so scary. This year it's going to be bigger and better. We're going to have jump houses. We're going to have candy. We're going to have food. We're going to have music. We're going to have haunted houses. Face painting. So much fun. You better make sure, boys and girls, that you get your permission slip. You get your money. You can stay after school on Friday and get ready for the fall festival. So exciting. So exciting. Okay, books, books, books. I cannot believe the name of this book. It's called This Journal Belongs to Ratchet. This is about a child who doesn't get to go to school because she's homeschooled. She doesn't get anything new, no new book bags, no new clothes, no new friends. All she does is write in this journal about all the things she wished she had. I love the name. This journal belongs to Ratchet. Come and get this book and tell me that she find anything exciting to do while she's homeschooled. And this one is hilarious. Foster, oh, Fooda Davis might be, probably is crazy. Is that not crazy? Fooda Davis might be, look how it's crossed out, probably is crazy. Well, Fooda Davis, he's a little boy that lives by this form. He wants to be a journalist. He hates walruses. Do you know what a walrus is, boys and girls? They live in the ocean. And his mom has bipolar, which means if she doesn't take medicine, she gets a little sad or she gets real happy and so Fuda Davis has a lot going on at his house because his mother is ill and when she doesn't take her medicine all kind of things kind of happen and then one day the house next to him catches on fire and the children who live there no one can find them so Fuda Davis and his best friend Pee Wee 
kind of name is Pee Wee. They go out to try to find what happened to those boys and girls who were lost in the fire. Will Fuda Davis and his friend find them? Come and get this book and let me know. Boys and girls, how many AR points do you have? Are you going to be on the wall? I am tracking those points. I want to know who's going to be an incredible super reader. Is your picture out there? Miss Gunner is going to be looking. So I need you to read, read, read. Because remember, reading is our superpower. Wear your uniforms every day. I hope that you're standing up in class. I hope that you're speaking up and out and answering in complete sentences. I hope you're being kind to each other. I hope that you are keeping your school nice and clean. Boys and girls, I love you. You can be anything you put your mind to be. Let's make it a great day the Peyton way. Do it again, again.